Namaste, my dear Light Tribe of Gaia. I'm on the sacred land that belongs to my star sister, for the moment calling her Solara B. Solara B and Victor have made their garden, their land, accessible to anyone who wishes to use it for sacred purposes. This is near White Rock in Vancouver. I'm here with my awakening light body, light tribe, transmitting lesson number nine. I ask for the highest guidance to flow through me now. Close your eyes wherever you may be on your blessed earth plane. Close your eyes and move silently through the invocations, using them inwardly now, inwardly calling all white light to yourself now and watching that light stream through your physical and energy bodies, illuminating Gaia below you, so that you may see and feel Gaia's core crystal. Inwardly now, ground yourself through your heart and belly into the great core crystal. And as you ground yourself in this way, an umbilical cord moving from Svadhisthana down through Muladhara, magnetically attaching to the great iron core crystal of Gaia, you feel your physical cells resonating, humming pulsing with her, your physical body heavy, deeply relaxed and present. Feel yourself inwardly connected now with Sushumna, with the central energy channel that runs through all chakras. Inwardly now, make an invocation to activate your prana tube from your heart center, pushing your internal energy breathing tube up to connect with the heart of the great central sun. Pushing your energy tube down to connect with the core crystal of Gaia. Inwardly now, invoke and command a concentration and expansion of your energy body. Concentrate your light so that you are switched on like a light bulb. Expand your aura out to a distance that is comfortable to you now. Call your energy back now. Saying internally, let all energy I have given away or left behind return to me now. Let all energy I have given away or left behind return to me now. Here you are 
are blessed earth people. Switched on. Expanded. Completely whole within your energy field. Grounded into Gaia. Connected with all that is above and all that is below. And is this not powerful? Does this not bring you fully into your power? Being able to ground, center, and connect yourself in this way. In so few minutes, your wish is your command. This has always been so and will always be so. Your wish is your command. You are sovereign being. You are in charge of your own energy. Speak never again of your energy being drained by any person, place or situation. For this is a reflection of disempowerment. No person, place or situation is able to drain you of your energy unless you allow it. Know from this moment forward that you are always in charge of your own energy. The basic energy techniques as given. Calling light to yourself. Grounding yourself into the core crystal. Activating your prana tube. Concentrating and expanding your energy field. Reclaiming your energy. These are the primary energy techniques that we have passed on to you in these energy lessons. You do not need to do the energy lessons repeatedly once you have mastered these techniques. Indeed, the purpose of these lessons has been to teach you these, to allow you to experience the effect of these separate techniques so that you are able to use them as and when they are necessary. Sometimes it will be necessary to ground yourselves over and over again within one 24-hour period. Sometimes you are in a state of perfect groundedness and it is one or more of the other techniques which are needed. If you are feeling insecure, if you are feeling drained, if you are feeling disempowered, if you are feeling angry, if you are experiencing a power control between yourself and one other, then you need to call your energy back. Let all energy I have given away or left behind return to me now. And watch and feel the effect of this command, of this reclaiming, 
of your energy. Watch and experience the effect within your physical and energy body as you call light to yourself, as you concentrate and expand your energy body, as you activate your prana tube. The effects must be experienced or you are missing the point. You must feel what these do within your physical and energy body or you are missing the point. Once you know how it feels to be grounded, then you will know how it feels to be ungrounded. Once you know how it feels to be fully in your power, then you will know how it feels to be disempowered. We teach now the final stage of Nadi Shodana, the most magic of all pranayama techniques in this age of life. For what other technique will raise your energy and clear your mind while simultaneously relaxing, grounding and centering you? What other technique will cause the fire of Kundalini? to rise through Sushumna, awakening Ajna. What other technique so successfully unites right and left brain, bringing a perfect balance between Shakti and Shiva, Goddess and God, your divine feminine and masculine principle. We have taught the root lock as you call it, this pulling up on the pelvic floor. As you breathe in and holding of this, as you hold the energy in Ajna. And we have taught the lifting of the head at the top of the in-breath in order to allow the energy to rise more easily through Visuddha into Ajna. And we explain now that the chin lock is completed by the tucking in of the chin like a Balinese dancer. And that this tucking in of the chin and a slight pulling back on the head compresses the throat cavity in such a way that the energy shoots more powerfully up into Ajna. And so at the top of the in-breath, as your head is raised, and as the air reaches its completion in the inhalation, you tuck your chin in naturally as you hold your breath. And this tucking in of your chin accelerates the energy flow through your throat and into your third eye. The final step comes naturally if you are succeeding in using the complete breath with every in-breath of Nadi Shodana. In the complete breath we have explained that your abdomen will fill first and as the rise of energy and air reaches your ribcage, your ribcage will expand in such a way that the solar plexus tightens somewhat. Practice this now with a complete breath through both nostrils. Use the Ujjayi breath. 
breathing into your belly, into your lungs, and finally into your throat. And with your rib cage expanded now, feel your solar plexus and you will notice that it is tight and not soft. And this is sufficient for the diaphragm lock. This is sufficient to activate the lock in this soft place, which assists in pumping the energy up into your third eye. So as you breathe in with every in-breath, you will activate the lock at the root, the lock at the diaphragm, and finally the lock at the chin. And this energy practice will make your Nadi Shodhana so powerful and so enjoyable that you will not wish to do it again without these aids. One complete breath, breathing in. And out. Prepare your right hand now with a mudra. Breathing in, close your right nostril, and we begin. Om Namah Shiva. Outright. Om Namah Shiva Om Namah Shiva Out left Shiva Om Namah Shiva. Root lock on, diaphragm, hold your chin lock, release all locks outright. Om Namah Shiva. Hold the locks, hold the locks, out left, Shiva Om Namah, round three, Om Namah Shiva, Watch Solara and Raya's fingers if you are lost. Om Namah Shiva. Shiva Om Namah. Om Namah 
round. Om Namah Shiva. Om Namah Shiva. Om Namah Shiva. center of the brain, the pineal gland bathed in golden white liquid light, the pineal activated through this kundalini energy rising through Sushumna now. Watch the kundalini rising, stimulated by the locks or bandhas, magical physical locks or pumps, which concentrate the energy rising through sushumna, electromagnetic current stimulated now in the ventricles of your brain and what you experience is white light, white light in the center of your brain. Some of you experience blue-white flashing, lightning, 
between the lateral ventricles of your brain. And this flashing is the marriage, the divine union of Shakti Shiva within your brain. Draw your physical eyes inwards, up and back, into the cave of Brahma, mysterious indigo blue cave, the violet flame of Saint Germain, a light within the cave. From the violet flame, send a cord now down through your throat chakra, through Visuddha, and into the one heart in your chest. The one heart is a spinning turquoise brilliance within your chest, ignited and surrounded now by the violet flame from Ajna. Say out loud, I am that I am. I am, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am. That I am. I am that I am. This is your connection with higher self. Your am that I am statement is your resonance. Your acceptance, your invitation to your higher self to be one with you. Personality and higher self infusing each other joyfully. You need not let go of your personality self to be enlightened, dear one. For the time of ascension is a time in which your Christ itself descends fully into your physical and personality being so that you are able to joyfully express yourself in your full power. Joyful Powerful, healthful beings, perfect in every way, exactly as you are right now. Say out loud, I am perfect, exactly as I am right now. I am perfect, perfect. Exactly, exactly as I am, as I am right now. now. Each one of you is perfection, beauty, power, health, light, crystalline, angelic. Say out loud, crystalline angelic being of light am I. Crystalline, crystalline angelic, angelic being of light am I. Open your eyes now, dear ones. Use the one heart mudra and say out loud, crystalline 
angelic being of light am I. You will say this now, every day, in your looking glasses. You will look into the mirror and look into your own eyes and acknowledge crystalline, angelic. Being of light am I, and so it is that the new age of light dawns on your planet of beauty. Namaste. Namaste, dear Light Tribe of Gaia. This was the most awesome place <laughs> I've ever done an energy lesson. If you come anywhere near Vancouver, you have to come to this place where Solara B and Victor have made a labyrinth with a sacred altar inside, where my dear star brother Mark has made a medicine wheel. This place is available to use for ceremonies, for meditations. It has a teepee, for heaven's sake, right here, and a fireplace and a sweat lodge. So I am inviting you here on behalf of my dear star brothers and sisters. This place is here for light tribe. I'll see you next lesson. Namaste. Oh, this, as they do in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs>